Tonight we know the event that triggered all of Dallas's emergency sirens over the weekend was not a cyber attack. News 8's David Goins explains how this sabotage happened and the steps that the city now needs to take to keep it from happening again. I'm confident in the system. With storms closing in on the area, Dallas City Manager T.C. Brodnax Monday said the city siren system is safe. The system is back up. Uh, it is functioning. But for the first time, he revealed the 90-minute on-again, off-again sirens we saw in Dallas Friday night were not the result of a computer hack. It was not a system software issue. It was a radio issue. Brodnax told the city's public safety committee that DPD and the FBI are investigating what's believed to be an attack from someone who lives in North Texas. He said more details couldn't be discussed out in the open, but council members asked anyway. We're just getting all these questions. We've got a frustrated um, constituency that have the same questions. And those frustrations boiled over momentarily when council member Philip Kingston's push for more details was blocked. I'm the attorney and the, uh, for the city of Dallas, and I'm advising you that it is not posted. Yeah, you're the advisory attorney for the city of Dallas. You've given your advice. Thank you very much for it. We appreciate all the work you do, Ms. Palomino, but it's time to go into executive session. State law prevented that from happening, but Broadneck says he will provide more details on Wednesday. The system is an old system. Uh, we are looking at uh, upgrading and making modifications accordingly. But already he revealed that old system in Dallas and city staff played a role in making the city's 156 sirens vulnerable to attack. The issue uh, was with uh, how we transmitted our information and we worked uh, to close those gaps. Okay, so let's flash forward to Wednesday. Broadneck says he will ask the city council to vote on areas of the city's aging infrastructure that he says needs vulnerability assessments and then decide how to approach it from there. Live in the Dallas newsroom, David Goins, Channel 8 News.